All right, everybody, I'm gonna make this as short and sweet as I possibly can. Uh, as you know, I posted on Facebook a couple weeks ago that this was upcoming, and this is a video of comparison. This isn't calling nobody out. This is simply showing um, a difference between two light strips. Um, I had a lot of people, I get it all the time, how am I different from other vendors? Um, you know, why is my kit brighter or how is it better or, you know, things like that. So we're always up against other vendors when it comes to selling. And so what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to show off. This is a two foot strip. This is what I use on a, a mirror kit and I've already labeled it, you know, my brand. Now this isn't a waterproof strip. Okay. This is missing the silicone or gel coating. Um, but this is just for testing purposes. Um, we did a mass ride, uh, SGMC mass ride uh, last weekend, and I was waiting on a buddy to bring me a kit. He had bought a kit from another vendor. Um, he lives up in Atlanta, and he wants to see the difference. I've had other people ask the differences, and so we're gonna get into that a little bit tonight. Uh, so what I'm using here is just a two foot strip. This is the strip that I would normally sell with my kits. Uh, again, this one just doesn't have the gel coating, like say, you know, this one will all right so we're using standard sp 105 e controllers i like these controllers because they're a dime a dozen they work phenomenally well um, however you do have to go into the settings and i'll show you here in a minute once we hook up power and make sure you choose the right strip otherwise it won't perform correctly we'll get into that briefly they're already pre-wired uh, so without further ado this is the other vendor that I've had so many people ask me about. How do we compare? Why am I so much cheaper? How am I better? And so I'm gonna answer some of those questions with this video, okay? So this uh, is a mirror kit. That's why I chose to cut enough material here that I would use on a mirror. And uh, again, my buddy Alonzo uh, out of Decatur brought this to me. So we've got the strips that is used. Let's see what we can do here. We've got splitters. The controller is nice. We're not going to use the controller because we're using these guys. And that's probably the mirror brackets. So I'm going to take one of these out. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, Sorry. So uh, I'm going to get that set up here in just a second. This is a lux meter, by the way. Lumen meter, lux meter. And so this measures the intensity or brightness of light. So uh, in this case, we're going to use it to measure the strips. Okay. And you can see just measuring off the um, little bulb I have here on top of the bench. This is supposed to be measured at one foot. Um and it will give you a lux meter or, or lumen output. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off for now. I'm gonna get my two strips set up. Again, I've already got mine labeled and that way we can't get them mixed up. Not only has it got our name on it, but uh, we know mine doesn't have the gel coating and we're gonna light these up and see the difference. So give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So what I did is, uh, the easiest way for me to do this one-handed I've got to hold the camera with one, the lux meter with the other, and somehow finagle everything else. So I placed these strips vertical and just taped them um, in place. All right. So this is the one that does. This is our brand here. This doesn't have the silicone casing. This one does. Uh, there's a little bit more white writing on this one. I know they make a blackout kit. We make a blackout kit, uh, but this one is a lot more noticeable from uh, the other vendor because it has a lot more information on the strip. So that's just one thing. Uh, but again, these are the, the clear. Uh, we do have these intended and I'll show you ours a little bit later. But uh, anyway, so let's, let me pause it because I got to do this one handed. Let me pause it and let me hook up power. This is power to one, this is power to the other. And uh, maybe I can do it right here. Uh, let's see. 
Alright. Oops. Power came off. So we get a little bit of diffusing in the gel coating, but intensity wise, these guys look really neck and neck. So let's take a measurement of just here we go. So let's do this one with the meter. I'll turn off the tablet. And let's see how we can do this. You kind of see how bright these things are, and they're really nice. So we're going to set up a ruler here to get us about one foot. Sorry, one-handed here, guys. All right, so one foot, one foot. So 150, I can get up to about 170. Not bad, not bad. So we're going to unplug theirs. We're going to hook ours up. There we go. And we're going to one hand this again. Sorry guys. Need two people for this honestly. Alright, so Wait, does that say 250? 240 so ours is brighter how about that so let's yeah let's uh let's double check that right let's double check that because i don't even believe that all right so we're going to disconnect our strip we're going to carefully we got live wires here Low voltage, but still live. All right, so that is theirs. All right, so one foot. So we're measuring 156, 170 if I get the angle just right. So the viewing angle on LEDs is about 120 degrees for those who are curious. Oh, 180. All right, that's good. So let's switch it up again. All right. We're still in auto mode. Uh, I'm going to turn off the light. Now these are chasers, by the way, so though we can change any color we want, but white draws the most power. And in auto, you can see we go from about 170, 180 to 240. I can get uh, 280, depending on the viewing angle. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I know everybody loves these guys but I just showed you twice that we're brighter so anyway uh, let's try something here you don't need to know my password so this is uh, our strip that is lit up Let's go to, uh-oh, the settings are off. So I hit red and it came up green, right? So if I hit red and it comes up green, let me show you what to do. So we're gonna go into settings. RGB, let's try RGB right there. All right, so we know we got red, blue, I'm still wrong. Red, blue. Okay, so we got to go back into settings. RG, oh, should be RGB. Uh -huh. All right, so red, 
green and blue. There we go. And then white. All right, so let's do red. What is our lumen output on red? I don't think the tablet's going to mess with it. All right, so there's red. And we are. Now I gotta look real carefully. That is a uh, 70.2, 70 72.2, 73. You see the decimal point there. White is obviously a lot brighter. But we can get. Uh, what can we get on this? 82, 84, 86, 88. Oh man, we can break 90. So we can get 100 lumen out of that. It's pretty, pretty freaking phenomenal. Again, depends on the viewing angle, but uh, you get the idea. All right, so we're gonna disconnect ours. We're gonna reconnect theirs. Now it's white, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna choose my other controller. Go back to red, there we go. And again, brightness is turned all the way up. Come on. There we go. So let's see what we get out of theirs. All right, so there we are. And so quite a bit of difference. Let's do the same thing we did on the other one. So we can get about 59. Can we get more? 60. 63, 64, so quite a bit, but again, not 100, not 100. So we could do this on all colors, but I think the outcome is going to be the same. You guys have seen it. Our kit is just brighter. So anyway, thanks for watching. If uh, you had not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. We got, uh, you know, lots of videos and stuff. I've got... Uh, Man, how many videos do I have? I got like 400 videos going back a decade, right? So, do 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 do. Oops. All right, you're gonna have to take my word for it. So anyway, subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, if you got any questions? Let me know. I'll put a link to the video description below to the website for prices and options. You guys can watch. But uh, if you want me to do any other measurements, let me know. Um, I've got this kit for about another week or two till my buddy comes down to pick it up. Um, although, I may just give him some of our strips because they're brighter. <laughs> uh, for those that are also wondering about our smoked or blacked out strips, so that's these guys. We're having these custom made for us now. All right. So these are tinted ones. And I'm gonna plug all my lights here. As you can see, these guys come with 3 MVHB. So we pay a lot of money for these high quality strips. All right. So if you're looking for them, I've got them. We got them darker than this also. So this is medium and then I've got dark. Dark is dark now. It's almost blacked out completely. You can barely see the white chips. Um, don't expect to sell a bunch of them just because it's going to block so much light. But these are the ones. These are the bit to go to that most people's going to pick up. The medium dark, smoked, light tinted, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, got those available on the website now too. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and we'll see you guys on the next video.